Hello YouTubers! Welcome back! Welcome back to my channel. Hi, this is Nikki Poo. And we're going to continue with my shoe collection. So, I want to tell you guys Happy Thanksgiving. I hope you had a great and joyous day. Um, so, if you're watching this, this is the day after Thanksgiving. So I'm going to continue on with, I guess, uh, Nike basketball and then um, Air Force Ones, stuff like that. So um, we're going to start off with some Nike PEs that recently, not too long ago, purchased. So we're going to start off with these Nike Air Max PEs. Oregon and then on the back of it it has the Founders Day of the University so these came in nine different schools and colors on the Nike site right but I found out there's actually ten there's another color there's an Oregon State that is orange and white but I can't find it anywhere but uh, Fanatics had it, but it sold out. So that's the one that I'm missing out of the whole entire set. So you got the Oregon, you got uh, Penn State. I thought this was actually um, Georgetown, but it's not. It's um, Penn State. You got the Florida Gators. You got Ohio State, and they're they're all the same shoe, just different colors, which is great because you can interchange it with whatever you're wearing, which is fabulous, and they're comfortable. Alabama, Texas. Georgia Bulldogs. Michigan State. And Michigan. So out of all these, these two are my favorite. They're my face, they're my face. And um, like I say, it, it won't break the bank. They were like $110, you know, and they're probably even cheaper now. So, you know, if they still have them. So, yeah, I'm going to be rocking these and I won't feel bad. And I own a set of PEs that didn't break the bank. So, uh, yeah, this is one of my exciting purchases that I did last year. I really like these. So let me get all these out the way. Yeah. Got me sweating. This stuff is not easy. This is very time consuming. And a lot of work. A lot of work. Alright, so from there, we're going to go to my LeBrons. You got... The LeBron Fam UPE in the green. I I like these. I like these. I really do. And I'm not a LeBron fan, but they got down on these with the material, the colors, you know, and it's a PE. Like I say, I'm really trying to change up on my collection, do some different stuff, and here we go, you know. So that was the green pair, but it also came in the black, which is clean as well. You know, a little different. You know, this one has LeBron and his number on it this way, but the other one had the Rattler, you know. So, and this one got the Rattler on the tongue, you know. So, 
These are some good, clean shoes, man. These are clean. They are nice. I can't, uh, I can't, I can't talk bad about these. So, this was not my first LeBron I purchased. The actual first LeBron I purchased is these, which is the LeBron 16s. I am king. Now, I like these. I like the 16s. Um, they're not bad. They had a couple of other colorways that I would have loved to have gotten. But the price of LeBron's is like the price of Jordan's. And you can't afford to do both now. You, you, you can't get LeBron and Jordan's, you know. It's just too much, you know. So, of course, I'm going to go with my goat. So, I'm going to get my Jordan's, you know. But... Yeah, there was a few other colorways. It was a gray colorway with the uh, uh, lion or whatever on the back with the different color eyes. Those was fire. There was a, a burgundy color one. Uh, yeah, I like this. The 16 series was, to, in my opinion, one of the best. So, this is the I Am King. Then we're going to go to... I have the Mac Attack Social Status Collab with Nike. So I'm gonna try and do like like make this video like all my Nikes, just the rest of the Nikes. So then I'm gonna have to do like probably one more video with all the other brands and stuff like that. But this is a, a collab with Nike and Social Status. Now this material, this satin material, it cuts away. You can cut that off and it'll be like a pink color. Like, you know, it's satin on here and uh, you can cut that off too. It'll be that pink color, that Nike pink that's on there. And back here, they're cutaways. Not a bad shoe. Not bad. Not bad. So I got that colorway and then I got the green. Now, when you cut this one away, it's orange underneath the green. Pretty cool, pretty cool. It's another social status and Nike um, collab. And I got my pennies, man. Gotta get the pennies. Gotta get the pennies. Man, you know, Penny was one of the hype ones back in the day as well, you know. Had that penny bobble, bobble head. They had some of the greatest commercials as well back in the day. You know, they, they don't have that stuff anymore, you know. They had uh, Larry, uh, what was his name? I can't think of his name right now. He was like Grandmama, you know. You had the penny bobble head. Then you had uh, Jordan, you know, with all his different commercials with Spike Lee. And, you know, I mean, all that marketing and advertisement. They don't even do that stuff no more. At least not like they used to, anyway. Then I got these Kyries. Now, I really don't know much about Kyrie, but I really love this colorway. It just caught my eye. You know, I was in Dick's Sporting Goods and seeing these on the wall, and the colors is just so pretty to me. I don't, I don't, uh, I just had to get it. I had to get it, you know. I just love these colors. They just pop. So this was my first Kyrie. I still haven't rocked it yet, but I will. I will. Oh, I want to give me a hoodie with these colors in it. But, yeah, I really like these colors. And they light. They really light. Then I had to try out the Jaws. I had to give Jaw a chance, you know what I'm saying? Little young buck coming up. I'd like to give him a chance, try his shoes, see what he's about. I really don't like the front part of it though. It just looks so fat and wide, you know. But I haven't rocked them yet. Tried them on. But they're okay. They're okay. He had a black pair that came out, um, I think it was All Star last year, All Star weekend last year. That had like the Swartz crystal on the swoosh. Those looked nice. Of course, they're an arm and a leg. They were very limited. Very, very limited. 
those was a nice pair. I wish I had those in my collection, but I can't afford it. <laughs> so then you have the Mellows, right? I got the Mellow Galaxies. Now these shoes are great. Like these seem like they like got the Gore-Tex or something on. I mean, man, I've worn these shoes in the rain. Nothing. My feet be dry. Now there's a lot of cushion in these shoes too. They are comfortable. They are. So um, yeah, I, I like these. I like the colors too. You know, I like the pop of color every now and then. You know. Then I had to get both of these because. These are the Rick and Morty's because the shoes are different colors, so I had to grab one, um, both pairs instead of just one shoe. So these feel exactly like the Galaxies, just different colors. That's all. But yeah, there you. The weather won't make no difference with them. You can wear them in the snow, the rain. I don't think you can mess those up because I have and. They're still in pretty good condition. Now, I've rocked those. I have. So, now we get into Kobe's. Mamba Cetus. Man, these just look so good. And it's like the black. Make it look like it's, like it's got bling on it. You know what I'm saying? Look like it, it's got bling bling on it when the light hit it. You know? These are really, really nice. I have not rocked these yet. Have not. Have not. But they did a really nice job on these shoes. Really did. The Kobe and Gigi's. Mama Cetus. Really nice job. And those was really hard to get to as well because it seemed like the drops, the first drops that came out when they started bringing the Kobe's back was on the Mama Cita website and they mostly was dropping in LA. So if you lived in LA, you had a better chance of getting the shoe. <laughs> you know, of course I had to get it resale, um, which sucks, you know, but it is what it is. So hopefully the reverse Grinches that are coming out on December 15th or 16th, I hope you know, we have a better chance at getting those. And these are the Grinches. Now, I've rocked these one time. I wore these one time. But, um, yeah, so the, the reverse of these shoes is coming out um, in a few more weeks. So, hopefully, I can grab those. But, if not, hey, it is what it is. You know, these shoes is becoming up pain in the butt you know what I'm saying it's like yeah you got to go through so much you know that's the killer parts because you got to kill the people that are interested in the shoes and you're gonna lose their interest by you know keep messing around with these shoes but yeah so that's pretty much uh, my Nike basketball you could say segment and now I'm going to move into my Air Force Ones. So, this is the year of the 50 year of hip hop, right? And God, it's, it doesn't feel like it's been that long, but it, it has been a while, right? So, I'm going to start off with the G Fazos, of course, because that's pretty much how it started. So, I have two pairs of all white G Fazos. Anybody that rocks Air Force Ones, all white Air Force Ones, know exactly why you have to have multiple pairs of Air Force Ones. So, if you got to ask the question, then you really don't know. But two clean pairs, just regular, ordinary G Fazos. Got to keep them on standby, man. You never know. Because they, let me tell you, Air Force Ones are some nice, good, clean dress-up shoes that you could just throw on. Because they look so good. When they white, fresh, and clean, no crease. Oh, they look good on anybody's foot. Anybody's. 
Then I got, these are one of the shoes that came out in commemorance of the 50 years of hip hop. It's got the record in there. It's got, um, this was the Bronx origin. It's got the um, start date. Uh, this is 1973 on the tag, on the um, Debray right here. You know, so it's a all white pair with a little black, little, little black swoosh, you know. So then you got the New Orleans. This is nice. This is patent leather, which it really don't look patent leather until, you know, the light reflect off of it a certain way. But they're a patent leather with gold. And look at that little crystal, the little, little crush, like crushed diamonds on there. You know, they got the Debray on right here with the area code. Um, just a nice pair of shoes. These are real classy, real classy. Had to get them, had to get them. Then you got the Drake's, what is it, Love Love You Forever. Got the Nocta Drake's. The other shoe has the Nocta sign on the back. This one has the Nike Air on it. But this is some good leather. This is like not a normal g phaso material because this is some nice tumbled leather so it won't crease as bad as the normal Air Force ones you know so they come with some little beads you can put some little beads on here or whatever but these are a good pair of Air Force ones with very good quality leather then I seen these this was the, the double air Era that it, um, where it has like the it says you know it has two air signs on it or whatever, but they called it the double air, and then you got that going up the front, you know. So I like Air Force Ones, and what I like about this is that each one of them are different, so it looks like you're wearing a different shoe, it doesn't look like you know all just Air Force Ones, you know. It's got a little style, a little something different to it. Then, then you got the Supreme, of course. I haven't rocked them yet. I put the laces in, but I haven't rocked them yet. And then we got kind of knocked upside our head with these Travis Scott Utopia. Oh my God. If you ever felt like you've been robbed, here it is right here. It's unbelievable. I can't believe that he would actually go for this. You know what I'm saying? Why would you? Oh, man, I just don't understand. You know, he got such nice shoes that he come out with and then you, you throw this out there, you know? Oh, man. Yeah, it was a lot of heartbreak, upset people. And then it took us forever to get the shoe. So, yeah, this wasn't a good drop at all. Highly, highly disappointed in this drop. But it's different, you know. So, it's got Utopia on there. So, that's all you can say about that. So, then I go to these are, um, oh, what is that called? Uh... Oh, what is it called? Uh, where it's recyclable material. They're, they're recyclable material. These things are so, so light and so, so comfortable. So comfortable. So my son bought me these. So these will never leave my collection as long as they're wearable. <laughs> but uh, yeah, they're so light and comfortable. Uh, I forgot what these were called, but I seen them in the store. And they're suede, and they were nice looking, good quality material on it. So I got them. But I really, I think this was part of the Double Air, Double Air Series 2 as well. I think so. But these are suede, nice material. They're like a gray. It's like a gray. Now, these are very high quality quality material and beading and 
This was a collab with a boutique called Premium Goods. The owner of the boutique, I think her name was Jennifer. And I think, I'm not sure if it's this one or the next one that I'm going to show. But they were named, these shoes were named after her daughter and her niece. And uh, her daughter's name is Sophie. I can't remember what her niece's name was. So, uh, I believe this shoe is called Sophie, I believe. And it's supposed to represent their heritage because I um, believe they have mixed nationality. Um, but look at the beading on here, you know, different laces, the quilted material, quilted leather on here, tumbled. These are some very high quality Air Force ones. And then this is the other color. This is the other, it's in light colors. So you got one for spring and fall, I mean springtime, and you got one for fall time, you know that you can rock, but the quality and material is excellent. The beading, I mean, this is really nice. It's a really nice pairs. Then I have the suede, just regular Air Forces. I like the color. I had a hoodie to match this perfectly so when I saw these I just grabbed them impulse buying a lot of impulse buying in my collection it is it is I see something I like or you know it matched with something that I have sometimes I just jump out there and just get it I don't need it I just I just want it and I just get it another good quality Air Force was these um, chocolates Nice, good material, good leather. This is suede or nubuck and leather. And it's cream and chocolate. Really nice, really nice. And another impulse buy. I got these because this matched my uniform that I used to wear back, uh, back in the day. And tumbled leather too. So perfect. Perfect, perfect. So, then, one of the best Air Forces in my whole collection that I really, really love. These Jackie Robinsons. Man. I don't understand. They should have had a nice presentation for his shoes you know like kind of like how they did the trophy rooms trophy room sevens you know like the box the presentation you know it should have did something this just came in a normal little box but they did an excellent job with the shoe look it got look like a picket fence underneath the bottom they did a great job with the shoe but they really lacked on um, presentation look at that got the ball stitching in the back they, they really got down on these shoes, but they lacked on presentation for real. But I really like these. The DuBrays, one has the start date and the other one is the retirement date um, on the other shoe. But they really did a nice job on, on these. And I'm going to put these away and then we'll move on to... Uh, I guess the Air Maxes and everything else, the Dunks and everything else. You guys, you just don't know. You don't realize how many shoes you have till you start doing stuff like this, like the sneaker collection. Man, this is just too much. <laughs> so I'm gonna start off with I have two pair of Air Max Prestos. I have these. These are a Korean collab and then I just have a regular pair of blue Prestos so that would be it for the Prestos next I have two pair of Sakai's and these shoes are so 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 comfortable so comfortable they really are they really are comfortable. That's 
this pair of Sakai's and this pair of Sakai's comes with like double sole, double laces, double tongue <laughs> on both pairs is like that. They are so comfortable. Then last year Air Max Day was way better than this year Air Max Day. And maybe I missed out on quite a few pairs this year. I don't know, but last year was busting. They came out with the Concepts collab. This is the Heavy. There were three different shoes. This is the Heavy. This is the Mellow. And this is the Far Out. Now this one came in a special box. And these shoes was in commemorance of Woodstock. So, I mean, the presentation and details and these shoes was fantastic. And the best part about it is every shoe is special because there is no shoe that is alike. Everybody got different cuts in the materials, um, different patterns in the jean material, different cow print, you know. Um, they got like the animal print on here. I mean, the bandana, everything. So there's no shoe that is identical to another shoe. I mean, this this collab was pretty nice. Pretty, pretty nice. Then you had this one, the Casino collab. You know, the Anwan Ducks. The materials on these shoes is so good. The leather, the pony hair, um, the suede, the felt. It's got like all these different types of materials. Great story. Um, nice shoes. Nice, nice shoes. I like the real colorful pair. I believe the colorful duck is the male duck. And I believe this is considered the female duck. But the story is great. You know, it's like um, when a couple is getting married, they're presented with these wooden ducks called the Anwan ducks. And it's supposed to symbolize unity together forever, you know, because these ducks, once they mate, they mate for life. They're together forever. See the ducks on the bottom of the sole. Real nice, real nice. So I had to get both pairs of those because it was just really nice, really nice. Then you got the Ugly Duckling pack. You know, the materials on here are really, really nice. The, the suede on here, really nice. And I really like the colors. It's the brown. And this is called Anthrocyte or something like that was the color of these. Yeah, I really like these. And you know, Air Max is a comfortable period in itself. So, you know, you can't go wrong, you know. You cannot go wrong. You walk in them all day. You know, of course, like any shoe, you got to get your right size. Got to find your right size, okay. Got to get the right size. Then you have... I just got these not too long ago. These are called the Japanese toy. These shoes was from a Japanese toy. And uh, it's like got some kind of, I don't know what kind of material that, that this is. It's not leather, but it's real spongy, real spongy. The leather is around here. Then this is vinyl. Real nice, real nice, real nice. Like the colors. And like I said, you can't go wrong with Air Max. They're, they're comfortable, you know. And of course, you got the Travis Scott Baroque Brown Air Maxes. I was contemplating on going to get the, what is it, Sulfur? What's the uh, all yellow pair? There's another one. I think it's called Sulfur or something. I don't know. Thinking about going to get those. I'm not sure. These are called Dirty Denims.
Then you got the, um, these were the monotone ones. These are great material. They had a wheat pair, exactly like this, just all wheat. But I kind of like that burgundy. Um, the leather on here is fantastic. Fantastic. The suede, fantastic. Even the, the sole, this is leather down here. I mean, it's really nice, really nice, really nice. Then you got the Just Do It. You know, I gotta have them bright colors every now and then. Pop of colors. And then the Air Max 90. I have this fuchsia pink, girly girly type stuff with the ribbon laces. And I just like the colors of these. These were so nice. These I really had to size up on these though. Yeah, I had to really, I think I went up a size and a half on these. <laughs> yeah, what are these, the 95s or 97s, whatever? I just like the color of these. That's all, I like the color. So this year, Air Max Day, it was okay, it was okay, but it, it just wasn't like last year's. Of course, it brought back re retro the big bubbles this was the featured shoe this was the the main shoe for air max day big bubbles then you have uh the puerto rico i got this color and then it came in this color it's pretty nice i like the colors But my favorite was these cheetahs, baby. That jean, oh man. I really like these. They did good on these, baby. They did good. Uh, I really like these. They're really nice. Really nice. The rope laces, the, the jean material, just the different materials. The comfort, for sure. You know, man, I am sweaty. <laughs> man, so I think that's pretty much all my Air Maxes. So then I'm going to go here since these are some kind of odd shoes. These are the Tom Sachs General Purpose Shoe. I have each colorway, which is the white the sulfur, the mustard color, and the brown. I actually wear the brown the most. <laughs> I wear these a lot. I guess pink and brown is my color for this year. I don't know, but I wear them a lot. So now I'll move on to the dunks. Now, I have several pairs of dunks that's at the front door. I'm not going to get those. But I have a pair of um, dunk by use that I did. Um, and I made those look like the Chicago JPEG uh, dunks. And there's a white pair of dunks. I don't know the name of them. They don't really have a uh, name. But... There's probably three or four pairs of dunks at the door. Those are my kick on shoes and head straight out the door. Go do some type of running of errands or whatever. But they stay by the front door. And then I have these dunk by use that I did. Put my name on the back. I thought that was great. And the best part about it is the dunk by you material is so much better. The leather is tumbled. And like I say, you could create your own. Do it yourself. You know what I'm saying? You could play how Nike don't do it the way you want to do it. And you want something different. And you want to be creative. And yada yada. Every excuse in the world. Do the dunk by you. Do it yourself. Make your own. Create your own. And you ain't got to worry about walking around with the same shoe on as everybody else. You know? Then you have the Chicago Splits. It's a clean pair of dunks, you know. And then these were the dunk for the um, 
50 year uh, hip hop uh, anniversary. And these went with the Air Force Ones, uh, the ATLs. And these are just some random dunks that just had some quality premium material that, you know, I just had to get. You know, this is like a, a pink colorway, all nubuck suede type material, great material, you know, just some good quality material dunks. Nothing special. I got it in that color and I got them in the olive color. I'm a sucker for a shoe with good materials. <laughs> ah, a lot of impulse buys, I'm telling you. Not like I needed any of these shoes, just a lot of impulse buying. Then another shoe with great material. And these shoes dropped in Australia. These were overseas. They didn't even drop here. But the material on here and the color, I, I'm i like, I couldn't resist. I had to get these. So I ordered them off of uh, StockX, of course. You know, that's pretty much the only place you can get them because they didn't drop here. But the quality on these, man, I'm like, are they skimping on the quality for us and dropping it overseas? No, no, no way. No way. Give me these. And then I like the little gold debris with the Nike swoosh on the front. So, yeah, I, these was Nike Australia, you know. So, I'm like, oh, no, y'all not going to cut me out. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. Then, this was kind of a um, a hype dunk. These was called the lottery dunks last year. They, these came in green as well. Where the gray is, it was green. But the, they never had the green pair in my size. I kept missing out. So I was able to cop on the gray pair. This swoosh, this black swoosh, you can uh, wear it away. You know, get some acetone if you want. And take the black off and it's got like uh, lucky sevens like you know the slot machine uh, the cherries and all that to represent lottery you know so uh, they all right it was you know some nice kick around some different or whatever come with this little uh, charm on the side that everybody thought you could use it to scrape off no that didn't work like that <laughs> it didn't work like that but they they decent. They decent some decent kick arounds. Decent kick arounds. So we'll move on to this year was the year of the rabbit. Which is Michael Jordan's year. That's his sign. You know, that's his zodiac. His Chinese New Year is uh the year of the rabbit. So they dropped several year of the rabbit dunks. But they didn't necessarily drop them here. They dropped a lot of them overseas. So, again, we miss out on a lot of different stuff. But forget all that. I'm going to get them. So, there's four pairs of Year of the Rabbit Dunks. And this is one. You know, it's got the year on it, 2023. And every 12 years is the year of the rabbit so that's how the Chinese calendar go it goes 12 years so 12 years ago was 2011 and last year or not I keep saying last year <laughs> last year of the rabbit they had air forces air force ones that came out for Year of the Rabbit in 2011. And they look exactly like these. Exactly. To the T. To the T. So the other shoe of this has 2011 on the bottom. But this is the dunk for this year. And like I say, 12 years ago, they did a, a Air Force One that looked just like this. So... This is another year of the rabbit they had. Uh, I'm kind of up in the air with this. I like it sometimes and sometimes I don't. They're okay. They're okay. Yeah, but these are all year of the rabbit dunks. And they're all pretty much the same, just different colors. You know? 
Now I kind of like this because you know I like colors. You know, this is another year of the rabbit. You know, I like the colors. Do you know it's got the little Dubray in the front on the laces, say 2023. So, you know, I'm down with the colors. And this is my favorite out of all of them because it's so neutral tone. You know, this is the last one. Year of the rabbit. It's got all the neutral tones. You could get the most wears probably out of this one. You know, it goes with everything. But all of them are year of the rabbits. Got the rabbit on the side there, on the tongue. You know, all of them have this Chanel swoosh, mm -hmm. the furry, furry swoosh. So, those are all my year of the rabbit donks. Then I got the undefeated dunk, which I have yet still to wear. Another impulse buy. Another impulse buy. It really was. But yeah, I have not even rocked these yet. My only other LeBron, which is the Fruity Pebble Dunks. You know, pretty cool. So I, rock, I would rather rock these than rock my um, Bart Simpsons because I don't want to mess up my Bart Simpsons. So, you know. But I haven't rocked these yet either. Impulse buys. A lot of them. Because, I, I, I mean, it's ridiculous. It really is ridiculous. So, Social Status did a collab with Nike. And this was on the free lunches. Um, the storyline for this was for free lunches. This was the strawberry milk pair. Pretty cool. Love the materials, the laces, the story, the box, the presentation. <sighs> Along with the strawberry milk, they had chocolate milk, of course. I mean, the quality, like I said, the care, the attention, the details. It's just ridiculous, you know. I just love it, love it. So, of course, I had to get both pairs. Then you have the off-white rubber dunks. Man, these things take a beating to keep on ticking. I'm telling you that now. These, I believe, will last forever. <laughs> For real, though. I'm serious. I, I don't know, but I have yet to see a beat pair of these, really. I mean, these are so durable. They're cool, too. I get a lot of compliments when I wear these, too. But... Okay, any weather don't matter. I have worn it in the snow, in the rain. Um, the only, like I said, the only thing is keeping your laces clean. You know, you got to make sure you keep your laces clean. But other than that, everything comes clean. You know, I, I clean it, wash them, you know, scrub the bottom, whatever. And they come right back looking like, you know, like they were from day one. So... And I don't rock it with the um, zip tie on it at all. But, I mean, really. These are some durable shoes. And they're not, that, they're not bad. <laughs> they're not bad. I wore them all day walking around in the mall and stuff like that. And my feet didn't hurt. So, this, I'm glad I got these. I'm glad I got these. Then I got the off-white lot. This is lot 12. Um, this is what I like about this lot is because it's leather and suede So this is a good lot. So you figure that second series of lots lot 11 to lot uh, 20 or 19 whatever they're all gonna be leather and suede but different color strings you know, your strings is going to be different and your zip your zip tie is going to be different. This zip tie is the same color as the tongue, of course. But, yeah. So, I like the material on this. What I want is the suede on suede. And then I want the leather on leather. So, I got to get two more different ones. Because this is the leather and canvas. This is lot six. So, the first ten pairs minus... Lot one, so the nine pairs then. The first nine pairs all are going to be leather and canvas with different color strings. You know, so 
I want the leather on leather pair and the suede on suede pair. So those are the next two pairs that I would like to collect. Other than lot one and lot 50. <laughs> Good luck on that one. So, uh, another good dunk collection was the Union Dunks, right? You had the Core Purples. You had the Argon, Argon colorway, it's the blue. And these are all tearaways. You could tear that white nylon and it'll reveal another dunk underneath. And then you had the, um... What was this? Pistachio. Pistachio. This was a great presentation. Great box. Uh, this was a nice, nice. This was one of Union's nicest collabs. The Dunks. I mean, Union was killing it. I'm telling you, they had the Dunks, the Fours, and the Ones. They were killing it. They were killing it. Uh, not anymore. <laughs> then you have the Barbershop Dunks. Another impulse buy. You know, they came in the gray. I like the debray on there with the clippers on there. That's nice. The, the uh, well, they're not the clippers. They're the guards. They go on the clippers. Yeah, they're the guards. They go on the clippers. So that's pretty cool. And that was in gold, and then you have the black pair, and the guard is in silver or chrome or whatever. Yeah, these was pretty nice. I still haven't rocked them yet, but again, impulse buys. You know, I really didn't need these or whatever. I just thought they were so cute and adorable, and I'm a sucker for good material. <laughs> this is ridiculous, man. I just, I don't know what to say. But my all-time favorite 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 dunk the Jackie Robinson man 75th anniversary <laughs> they I they didn't do no wrong on this shoe other than the box the presentation sucked it's just a regular box I mean but they they didn't do no wrong on this shoe no wrong on this shoe. This shoe, I, I don't even want to wear this shoe. I don't want to wear it because it's so pretty. And it it wouldn't be an issue if I could just, you know, go buy me a spare pair, have a spare, fit, you know, pair. That, no, no, no. These shoes cost too much. They are really just a hundred and what, $20 shoe. But resale, <laughs> ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. But Man, I would love to have another pair of these so I can wear them and keep this pair on ice. This is so nice. They got down on this. They got. How do you top this? I, I don't know how they're going to ever top this. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't. But they, they did an excellent job. Um, I guess the only thing they can make this better is to come out with a box. Come out with a special box. But this... They got down on it. I really, really like it. The The quality and the materials is nice. And it's not, they even use felt on here, right? It's not like felt is a real good material, but it's how they presented it and how they put it on here and the placement and <sighs> best dunk for me. This is my favorite, favorite dunk. I mean, I, I just love it. I, I love it. I love it. So, I believe that this is going to be my final Nike. So, after this, we're done with Jordans. We're done with Nikes. We will move on to Adidas, Yeezy, um, New Balance, Converse's, Asics, uh, what else? Feli's. Saucony, etc., etc. We'll move on to and designer. Um, so we'll move on to that on the next video. Um, 
but this is my last shoe for Nike and my newest silhouette. This is the first time I've ever owned a Vomero 5. Um, it's a Dornbecker Vomero 5. And this young man that designed this shoe, I think he's seven years old. I think he's, he did an excellent job. Excellent job. I have not rocked these yet, so I can't tell you about comfort, but a lot of people say that these shoes are comfortable, but I haven't rocked them yet. But he designed these shoes and he did a fine job. And I figured this would probably be a good shoe to end off on. It's the first time it's in my collection. Uh, something new, something different. It's got uh, it came with patches that you could put all over the shoe and basically redesign your own shoe. So I can't wait to rock these. I probably won't rock these till next springtime. Um, Cause I don't want to mess them up, you know. It's this winter time, snow, slush, and all that. I don't want to mess these shoes up, so it'll probably be like spring, summer when I um, bring these out. But uh, he did a fine job. So, guys, that is my Nike collection, and I'll be so glad when I get to finally complete all this. Cause this is too much it's too much and I don't want to be reminded on how many unnecessary shoes that I have in my collection how much impulse buying I have in my collection and yeah I admit I have a problem I, I'm not shame you know what I'm saying but uh, I just see that I have to go through these shoes and start weeding out some shoes and start getting rid of some shoes some do some more trading and you know stuff like that because I have a lot of shoes that I don't even know if I'll ever wear, but I have a lot of shoes that I'm going to be so torn that it's going to be so hard for me to get rid of. But guys, I want to wish you a happy holiday. Hope your Thanksgiving was well. Enjoy being with the family. Ate good. So until next time, guys, like comment subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell so you'll be notified on my next video until then this is nikki poo and i'm out peace